Hey Siri, turn on Aria fan. You got it. A fan is an essential piece of equipment when riding indoors, and there are many ways to skin the cooling cat when it comes to moving air. Now the three types of cooling options I've used over the years are as follows. Cheap, those being pedestal fans and general room fans. Industrial, which are in the game of just moving air and a lot of it. A lot of people are using these carpet dryers or air movers for their indoor setups. And then there's the premium level or cycling specific. In that category, we see the Wahoo Kicker Headwind and now the Elite Aria. The Elite Aria was introduced at Eurobike 2022 and has been available for a little while now, with a recent firmware update a few weeks back, adding a little more value to the product. So the notable features of the Elite Aria, which I have beside me here are, well, starting off with the carbon filters, one on this side, one on this side, that filters air. Now it's quite hard to quantify the effectiveness of those, but I have been using this in the Llama garage, which is Llama Lab number two, and you may be able to see on the camera there's just a few specks and a few things getting caught up in those filters. Secondly and unique to this fan is body temperature sensor control. So if you have something like this, the core body temperature sensor, which retails around $400 Australian, you can pair this to this and this fan will adjust itself based on your body temperature. And lastly, when it comes to unique features of this fan, it has 10 adjustment positions. Maybe more if you just want to get creative. Now when it comes to smart control, I'll tilt it up so you can see a few options on the top there. It has manual control, but also manual control via the My eTraining app as the remote. It has trainer speed control, but I'll put an asterisk next to that one as we need to discuss exactly what trainer speed control does for this. Might not be what you think. There's also power, heart rate, and as mentioned, body temperature control for this fan. Now, looping back to the speed side of things, if you pair this to your smart trainer, the fan speed will be dependent on your flywheel speed. Now, in that mode, I'd call this a wind simulator, not really a cooling fan, because if you're going up Elta Zwift at, let's say, four kilometers per hour, the fan will be very, very slow, as the wind would be in real life. When you're coming down at 70 kilometers per hour and that flywheel speed is really high, the fan will be really high. It's kind of the opposite of what you want, as when you're going up you're going to be hot, when you're going down you're not really working that hard and you're going to be cool anyway. So just remember if you ever pair one of these smart fans to speed mode it becomes a wind simulator, not really a cooling fan. Definitely a mode that I steer clear of indoors. Now when it comes to the latest firmware updates for this unit, which was released, well the firmware was released just a few days ago, they added a few more smarts, first of all being automatic sleep state. So if this unit is paired to a, let's say a heart rate sensor, and there's no data received from that heart rate sensor for five minutes, the fan will shut off and go into sleep state. Then the next time you want to get on and do an indoor workout, you put your heart rate sensor on, the fan will start up. Just watch for the scenario where you'll put your heart rate sensor on and go for a ride outdoors. Your fan may turn itself on for a few minutes as you leave the house, if it's within range. The second update and one that I really, really wanted to see when this was first released, and that is, they call it power state retention. That means if the power goes off and comes back on, the unit will return to the state it was in. So if you had it set to say manual mode two and you flip it off at the wall, you turn it back on at the wall, it goes back to manual mode two. This is very, very useful if you use it with a smart plug as you saw in the intro. Look at the technical specifications of this unit for those who are into the details. Elite state here that at 100%, it will be moving equivalent of 388 cubic feet per minute of air. When it comes to power consumption, I verified these with the power meter that I have. Yes, a real world power meter or a power measurement device out of the wall. Um, and here you've got 58 watts at 25% airflow up to 127 watts at 100%, which is a little bit lower than what we see the kicker headwind at at 100%. On the pricing, and yes, this is the discussion point a lot of people are pointing out with this. It is a premium level product and it is priced accordingly. US $349.99, Euro $289.99, UK £280, here in Australia about $470, and in Canada $450. So there's no getting around it. It is a premium product with a premium price tag. And I will bring up the fact that if you pair it with a core body temperature sensor, you're looking at around $900 Australian of cooling solution indoors. That's nothing to sneeze at, unless that air is very, very cold and you catch a chill. Okay, onto some sound checks and wind profile checks. Starting off with the very small basic fan at 33%, it only has three settings. 
and then 100% up to 60 to 61 decibels. Now there are a lot of variables that goes into the sound or noise made by devices. This is just one environment. And the headwind at 50%. This is recorded with the iPhone up there on the bench. And at 100% we're looking at 62 to 63 decibels. On to the Aria. 50%. Looking at 57 to 58 decibels in this environment. And click, click up to 100%, looking at 64 to 65. But as I said, there's a lot of variables that come into play when it goes into noise. Now onto the wind profile. And this is really, really interesting. You'll see here the basic fan just pushes air kind of everywhere. Now this still is a Vornado, which is directional, better than an open wire fan, I'd call them, at the basic level. You can see here there's no real funnel or profile. A little bit more wind there on the left due to the environment that it's in. But compare this to, say, the headwind, where it's definitely a lot stronger in the center there than it is off to the sides. You can see they're picking up speed. And just moving it off to the side, it really drops off. So these smart fans, or the premium level cycling fans, are a lot more directional. You can see they're cutting off quite significantly just over to the right. Center is good, left is even better because of where the bench is. But it is one interesting thing of note with these cycling specific fans. It's not all about raw fan speed. It's about where it places that wind and in what profile and does it cool you down. These ones do a pretty good job. Okay, in summary, the Aria fan does exactly what's written on the side of the box. It moves air, it pairs to a lot of sensors, and there are a ton of configuration options that you can use based on your preferences. There's no getting around the fact this is priced at the premium level, but that's up to Elite to set the price and the market to decide whether they purchase or not. Look, from here, I'm keen to see what else Elite could do with this fan. They've already released a new firmware that added a few extra features. What I've pitched to them is DI2 functionality with DFly buttons. I'd love to be able to use those secret buttons on top of the hoods to turn the fan up or turn the fan down manually as I'm riding my bike indoors. Ideally, the Apple HomeKit or Google Home would be built in so we don't have to add smart plugs to this. But with that power state retention, now working on this unit, I keep pointing down here, it's still, yeah, I'll pull it up here as we say goodbye to it. But with that power state retention on this unit, that's not much of a big, a few dollars, and you can get a smart plug to turn this thing on or off as you please. Alrighty, with that, we'll leave it there. That has been the Aria Smart Fan, which I've made just a little bit smarter with that wall plug. Alright, thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you soon.